Hey everybody, it's your friend Adam here from Golf Unfiltered, and you may notice that I haven't been doing too many of these GU review desks recently, and I'm going to start doing that a little bit more often. Uh, today, I'm going to talk to you about one of my favorite golf balls ever, really, but certainly my favorite from Bridgestone Golf, and that is the Bridgestone B RX. Let's get into it. All right, so if you haven't been to our channel before, go ahead and hit subscribe really quick. Click the bell. You know what to do to get alerts when we have new videos. But to get right into today's review desk, we're going to talk about the Bridgestone Tour B RX. Now, Bridgestone has a full line of different golf balls. You've probably heard of many of them. They all have the uh, Tour B or the X, and there's a lot of different acronyms around there. But really, to kind of clarify things for, golf, uh, for golfers who may swing under 105 miles per hour, I'm going to point you in the direction of the Tour B RX because this is definitely in my wheelhouse. With my driver speed, I am certainly under 105 miles per hour, probably closer to about 100. And so if you're around that or even lower, you're going to get the most distance and best performance from the Tour B RX. And so what makes it so great? So one of the best features of the golf ball is what Bridgestone is calling the reactive cover. It's a really cool name for a very cool piece of technology. What Reactive essentially does is it gives you this boost of distance off the tee that, of course, everyone wants, no matter what I would say on uh, different episodes of the Golf Unfiltered podcast, but it also gives you increased spin in your short game. That's kind of a crazy dynamic that you don't see very often, the increase in distance with the tee ball with more spin and soft feel around the greens. Now, there are a lot of different golf balls that do something similar to that. But what I like most about the reactive cover is that not only does it perform exactly as advertised, but it is extremely durable. I, like many golfers, hit the wayward tee shot every so often. May it land in a, uh, you know, rocky bunker or off of a tree. And you could still use this golf ball for a few golf holes. Now, it's really important to understand that when you're shopping for a golf ball, you have to look at a lot of different features. First and foremost, you want to see, all right, well, is this going to be a golf ball that fits my game? Bridgestone does a great job, especially with the Tour BRX, where it tells you the swing speed, as I mentioned earlier, uh, and they certainly have other golf balls for faster swing speeds. But you also want to take a look at, okay, well, what type of dimple pattern, what type of feel, and what type of spin are you going to get around the greens correlative to that swing speed? And I would say that the Tour BRX hits everything that I would possibly need for my game. I've shot some pretty good scores uh, with the Tour BRX. I have no reason to believe that I wouldn't be able to shoot my best scores. And the most important thing for me with this is just feel, feel, feel. You know, when you're around the green, you want to be able to trust that feel in your hands when you're hitting a little chip shot or a pitch shot. And even in your putting, I really enjoy a feel of a softer, muted golf ball, uh, which, of course, there's a lot that go into that with, from your putter face as well. But the Tour BRX definitely offers that for me. And so it's just a, a it's kind of a subjective thing that, you know, golfers everywhere are probably will you'll understand. So. At $47.99 a dozen, yes, it's a little bit on the you know pricier side for golf balls in general, but you're going to enjoy every single feature in the Tour BRX, and it's worth every penny. So if you're looking for a premium golf ball, go out, take a look at it, buy a sleeve, go out and practice with it to get that feel around you know with the short game again, and then take it out of the course to see how it performs for you off the tee. I know it performed really well for me. Thanks for watching, and we'll do another G review desk very soon.